strength of my life so whom shall I feel whom shall I feel whom shall I feel say I is my strength of my life so whom shall I feel hallelujah praise the most high today and Shabbat Shalom family Shabbat Shalom praise the most high family the most high was just speaking to me kicking me in the butt to get out here and do this recording which I had already made up in my mind I won't undo. <laughs> but you know, and if you don't know, he will get you. He will get kick you hard in the backside and be like, get going. You're going to wish you had him. Mm -mm -mm. And I remember that statement a long time ago. And he was right. So that makes me move these days. But I, as I was getting up, I was peeping over my idea and um, planning to give it another look over. And he was like, basically, that's enough of that. Go on and send the email to your tablet from your phone and get going. But he started dealing with, <clears throat> dealing with me about some of the things I've been going through of late. <clears throat> and how he was basically leading and directing me in a direction where I really didn't think I would be going. And first, let me say this. He's been teaching me not to judge folks where they are at of late in him. And just because they're not where you think you are, <laughs> oh boy, don't mean that they're not in him and that he's using them just as powerful. He just might not have told them to, um, to go into that or to speak on that. And family, I have seen this here in the last month more than ever. Oh boy, how did I do that? parking lot blocked off. That's crazy. Why ain't they doing it in the back? But you gotta let people do what they do. Praise the most high. I'm gonna still get to where I want to get to. Hallelujah. Yeah, he was like, stop judging people so harshly where they're at. And you know how when he teaches us something, we want to um, get out here and share it or share it with other folks as soon as we can. And we get to the point where we're pretty much um, overbearing on other folks and getting outside of what he's called us to do. And I say this, family, because I had an experience with a with an individual where they shared something, and um, the most I began to teach me. And it was about fasting, about how, As I've said here of late, I just come off a seven-day fast. The most I call me to a seven-day fast, and he's definitely orchestrated it, and he's called it. And the young lady was speaking on fast fasting today, 
and how um, the script where Yahushua was telling his disciples that this can only this kind can come up can only come out by fasting and praying. But she brought out a point that really made a whole lot of sense. She said we can't forget the prayer. <laughs> And I noticed I I'd, um, remember going on a fast and not being able to get past two days because the Ruach HaKadosh didn't call it. It wasn't led by him that I should take it, that I should do it. And I was commenting in the, in the young lady's comments today that I couldn't even make it past two days but with this recent seven day fast it's like I, I didn't get hungry at all won't even thinking about it until the final day and I was like well I might as well go and get 10 <laughs> it's this good I'm getting this much um out of it the most I show me this this meant all this then I might as well get me 10. And he said, no, because you'll be outside of my power. I said, praise the most I don't want to do that. And I was thinking about that when he was um, telling me about not being so hard on folks. And he had directed me here in the past to apologize to my family members for coming out too strong. Not for the truth, but coming coming off on them with the savior mentality. Oh boy. And won't we do it? <laughs> oh boy. Won't we do it, family? I know we try to put that on the most high. Won't he do it? But won't we do it? Won't we try to save the world, our whole household? When Yahushua said he was saved, you should be saved and your household. But that's him doing it, not us. And Yahushua said a prophet is has no respect, in my own words, in his own hometown and in his own home. Mm-mm-mm. So that lets us know, family, we have got to Line up with the Most High and His Ruach HaKadosh as He leads us into all truth. That's even going on a fast because you, you, just like the young lady said today, you're basically just going on a fast <laughs> for a diet or, su or such things like that or putting away other things without the Most High's power behind it and backing it. For one, it's going to be a struggle and two, you're not going to gain the insight that, that you think you're going to gain because he's not um, ordained it. But praise the Most High Family, I had to say that, because, like I said, he's been leading me in, in, in new directions. And I've been getting a whole lot more from people that's not speaking the language. They're not speaking our language as far as being woke or being um, us being the most high chosen people and I questioned him about that one time I was like well why aren't people um, you know identifying themselves and what they believe if they do believe that we are the chosen, most high chosen people and that he's um, coming back for us and there's no rapture <clears throat> And to me, it looked like a lot of people were just hiding. It's like they know the truth because they, they steady speaking it with power. But they're not um, coming forth with it, all the way with it. So you're like, well, what's really going on, Pop? Because I feel them in my Ruach. I know they're from you. But they're not identifying themselves. He's like, don't don't you worry about that. That's my business. Everybody don't come like you come. Everybody's not awakened or woke. 
just because I allowed you to wake up early. Some people it's gonna take more time, just like with you, it took you a long time. <laughs> and I had to start thinking about that. What about you? What about you, Robert? How far have you came? You was in, in ingrained into that Eurocentric church system. But I got you out. Now, won't, why won't you let me do the same for others in the way I choose? I say, yes, sir, and I get it. And I will bite my tongue <clears throat> when it comes to judging folks outside of you. Lead me into that truth. Now, of course, when we see something in people that we know is not of the most high, we stay away. And if he leaves, we say something about it. But we're going to get into this idea today. And we're not going to um, prolong it, make it a long one today, most high willing. I think that was one of the most important things that we had to say today was just that. And like I said in the recording this past week, one of our prior recordings, the Most High led me to a Gentile lady to receive a powerful word. And as I said in that recording, I didn't want to receive that word from her. I see that by my coming into this awakening that I had become somewhat prejudiced mm. to whom the most high uses and who I would let use in my life and I had to hurry up and repent for that because it was a long time to bar word or rhyme a word from the most high And as I said, other folk that I've been listening to of late, powerful men and women of the most high. And I'm going a, I'm to a do what um, the saying go, I'm going to hang on and see what the end might be. <laughs> oh boy. I'm not going to judge people too harshly or fast. But the idea for today, family, is we will see the goodness of the Most High in the land of the living. Quite a lengthy title. But I wanted to make sure we got all that in there. And I said we will see the goodness of the Most High in the land of the living. And who are the we we talking about today, Robert? Who that we? The Most High's chosen people. And those that... um the strangers that are uh, accompanying us into the new kingdom, into our kingdom, those that the most I have chosen, who we have no control of or, or try, we let him do what he do. He's orchestrating this thing, not us. But this text is coming out of Psalms 27 and 13. It says, let me read the original because I like that one. Um, that version, but let me read this one. I would have lost heart unless I had believed that I would see the goodness of the Most High in the land of the living. And 14 says, wait on the Most High, be of good courage, and he shall strengthen your heart. Wait, I say on the Most High. And family, as I was reading it, reading over this chapter, I was going to read the whole chapter, but we're, we're not today. But the Most High said, look at the, the heading of the, the chapter. And I looked and it said, a psalm of Dawid, a psalm of David, King David. And family, how, let me ask you this question. How many would say that he had seen the goodness of the Most High in his, in his life, in his lifetime here in the land of the living? I would too. I would say he, he did. Now, that's not saying he didn't go through his ups and downs, his struggles. <laughs> but he came out on top of them. The most I judged him 
and he came out on top. <clears throat> Pardon me. And that's how we are. Just like um, I saw a recording by a pastor, Rick Fletcher. He was sharing an idea about Samson being an example of Yasharal. Yasharal. And how Samson failed because of his um his his secret sin. And it wasn't no big secret. He he was all out with it. He told his parents, go get me one of them Gentile gals. Knowing that that was outside the most high's will for him. Being a Nazarite and being a child of the most high. He told us not to inter, intermarry with them folk. But he did. And it cost him. Cost him his eyesight. Cost him his um his power. His blessing, his um strength, <clears throat> and family, that's big. Because that's where we find ourselves at if we're disobedient to the most high. But back to Dawid. Dawid took his punishment and came out a better man because he didn't fall again. It cost him big, family, but he took his punishment and, and, and went on to do great things for the most high. And that's why he can say, wait on the most high. Be of good courage, and he will sh- and he shall strengthen your heart. Wait, I say on the most high. He had to come back and reaffirm that thing. Why did he say that, Robert? Because he waited on the most high. Family, that man, he was um <clears throat> he was um anointed king years before he would see the throne or the crown. But he held on to that. He held on to that when um, he heard that Solomon, no, I want Solomon, it was um, Samuel, was it Samuel family that anointed him? He heard that um, Samuel told his, his brothers that or told of his brothers that the Most High hadn't chose them. Because the Most High looks at the heart. He don't look at the um, outward appearance. Mm-mm-mm. Thank you, Pop. And that reminded me of what he was saying about judging folks from where they're at. But yeah, he had to hold on to what the Most High had, had told, spoke of him when he was being anointed. anointed. Before he even came on the scene, he was being talked about. How the Most High judged his heart. And he's judging our hearts this day, family. Are we going to hold on and trust him? Or are we going to fold and say it's too hard? I can't do it. <laughs> oh, boy. And we all we all get there and, and have been there. But Dawi said, I remain confident of this. And this is the um, New Living Version. I will remain confident of this. I will see the goodness of the Most High in the land of the living. And something the Most High was sharing sharing, um, to me again this morning as I was laying there in prayer. No, this was last evening. The Most High just gave me a powerful hot five seconds of his presence. I said, woo, thank you, Papa. Praise the most high, thank you. And that, of course, got me into my um my praise service with him. You can't help it. Whenever he brings his presence on, you just get to praise him. But he was like, reminding me of looking back over my shoulder and peeping back in the rearview mirror of my life and seeing what the Most High has done for me and then to bring that forth to what he's doing for me now and then thinking about what the promises he's he's promised me towards the future or for the future. Mm -mm -mm. And I just praised him and praised him and thanked him, family. Praise the Most High, family. The Most High is good to his family. And we owe him to trust him. 
We owe him to wait on him. Hallelujah. Yes, we do. And we're going to let that be our time, family. Praise the most high. I think we got that idea over. Satisfactory. Hallelujah. Praise the Father today, family. Do stay up and keep pushing forward in the right direction. Shalom. Hallelujah.